Cone figure eight. So this drill we're working is acceleration, deceleration, and then footwork to spin and come around a cone. So think of a wide receiver breaking at the top of a route, except we're not jab stepping, we're continuing through that cone. So it's a simple drill. All we need is markers or cones. And what I want to understand is this drill is supposed to be full speed. A lot of people will run and they'll kind of shorten their stride, they'll sink down and they don't go full speed because they're afraid they don't know how to decelerate. So understanding that as we go full speed, as we decelerate, we go toe, toe, heel to toe, heel to toe, slow down. But on a cone drill, we're trying to continue through with that speed. So we're gonna keep the weight mainly on the balls of our feet. We may have one heel step that slows us down and then we're gonna shift again because we gotta keep our hips in an anterior, an anterior tilt to make sure we're over the top and we're spinning around the cone. So as I go through this, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start in that split stance start and the cones, it can be 10 feet apart, 20 feet apart. I just want our athletes to understand or yourself to understand that you're trying to go full speed. So I'm gonna sprint full speed and I'm gonna make a figure eight understanding around these cones. So as I go full speed through that, I'm gonna go here, chop my feet and I don't wanna jab step way out here. I wanna stay way tight. So I'll probably come in here as I'm going full speed, heel, heel, toe, toe, toe and I'll stay over the top. I'll even probably come where I'm coming around the cone. My weight will be over here, but my feet will be here. So I'm chopping and staying on the balls of my feet. How that's happening is my arms are continuing to move. If I stop my arms, my opponent knows that I'm stopping. So if I come in here and I go like this, I'm putting on the brakes and I don't wanna do that. So I wanna make sure I'm pumping my arms through the cone, sinking my hips, loading my hamstrings to help slow me down, pumping through my head turns to tell my body where to go and then I come from here. Once I get about a third or two thirds of the way around the cone, I'm gonna pivot step and push and drive out. Got my feet again, pivot and go. So I wanna be full speed in the middle and then coming out of that cone as fast as I can. So if I go here about 80%, I'm working here, chop my feet, sink, arms get through and I come out. So there is a deceleration when we are going to heel to toe, but it's real quick and then we shift back anteriorly with our hips onto our toes and accelerate out. So one more time, close to full speed, coming through here, chopping and getting out. My head leads that spin, but my arms help my feet as I pump through to chop, get out, and accelerate to that next cone.